So, uh, as many of you probably obviously know, uh, dicing has been removed from the rune escapes. Uh, so, no more gambling. I understand that they're doing something like colored skulls or whatnot, but, you know, Jagdus can nerf that too. And uh, it kind of sucks for a whole lot of people, um, especially the people in the clans that were, you know, spent like four point. I have a friend that spent 4.2 bill just a couple of weeks ago on a rank in the dice clan. And, uh, like, the owner wouldn't even give it to him back now. Um, which, you know, sucks because, you know, business is business and all transactions are final and all that kind of shit. But, damn. Um, all in all, I think, you know, Jagex is still doing a part better for the community, uh, removing that. Um, still think that, the, you know, they could have kept some aspect of gambling. And, but, uh, my, um, idea for dicing, um, or gambling and RuneScape in general is, uh, um, that you're, that they put an age limit on it. And it's in it's a game in the Birthrobes game room, okay? Check this out. It's a game in the Birthrobes game room. Or the yeah, I think it's called the Birthrobes game room. Or the game room somewhere, wherever they have games, like you play tic tac and or tic tac toe or whatever like that. And um <clears throat> if your account has your age limit registered as like say sixteen or over or fifteen or over, something like that, um, only just to protect some of the younger generation of kids that like don't really know what they're doing with their money, so they don't go and waste it. But uh, they could do a little thing of wagering there where two people put their GP in each slot and uh, pick their numbers or whatever and like uh, a virtual die rolls and whatever it rolls on whoever picked that like the winner wins or um, so I don't know uh, even just like rolling dice against each other if they each rolled like if each person rolled a six-sided die um, so all right so this is how it would go you go up to the game rooms window with somebody else you um, put your GP in the slot. They put their GP in the slot. You guys hit accept just like a trade. Once it's accepted, it goes in. You each roll a six-sided die, and whoever rolled higher gets the GP stack that was put in. That could be a legit way that gambling could stay in RuneScape. You wouldn't have to trust any fake clans. Um, you couldn't get scammed. None of that kind of shit. So it would all be like in the RuneScape actual system of RuneScape actually doing it. Um, so that is my idea uh, for one thing they could do, add gambling, different things like that. The, the die was just one example. So you know what? Why don't you guys do this? You guys post video responses giving me ideas for different gam or giving ideas for different gambling games. And um, I'll go over some of them, some of your guys' video responses in a video. And uh, then, of course, you know, uh, link everybody to your uh, video um, in the description uh, as I talk about the idea that you came up with and give you credit for your ideas. So be like, somebody post a video response of uh, something else. Be like, hey, so blah, blah, blah said, blah, 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 and I'll pick some of the best ideas out and uh, talk about them. Uh, so that's just a little my take on them removing dicing and how gambling can stay in RuneScape. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I'm doing this at 1.30 at night, which is why I don't have a shirt on because I don't just hang out at my house with a shirt on, obviously. Um, but uh, besides that, anyways, both the cats in this video for y'all. Uh, remember to like the video as well, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys later.